With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Swivel Action. With the Swivel Action selected, you'll have two targets down below. To start off, let's select the Edge Loop target. Returning to our model and simply hovering over an edge and clicking and dragging will perform the Swivel Action. Now when using the Swivel Action, it is looking at the highlighted poly next to the actual edge you click. So if I have this poly highlighted down here, when I actually click on this edge, the swivel will be performed off of this edge down here. If I have the top poly selected, when I actually click on the edge, it will actually perform the swivel off of this edge here. So using this highlighted face here, as I'm hovering over an actual edge, will determine which way the swivel will be processed. Hovering back over an edge again and pressing spacebar to go back into the menu, select the target of Edge. Now returning to our model and simply clicking on an edge will apply the swivel action to a single edge. Now when you're actually applying this to a single edge that is joined by two polys, the result will give you something like this. This is in fact still generating a swivel, but it is swiveling off of this edge and this edge at the same time. When using the single edge target, in order to get the swivel to happen off of one edge instead of two, you need to make sure that the selected edge is an open edge. So I'm just going to come through and delete some of these polys here really quick using the poly delete function. So I'm going to hover over a poly, hold spacebar to go to the Z modeler poly menu, and I'm going to locate the delete action, and I'm just going to come through and delete the attaching edges around this poly here. Now I'm going to hover back over this edge now, and now since this edge is now an open edge, when I actually perform the swivel action now, it will be forced to swivel off this edge here. So this is how you can come through and generate swiveling effects across single-sided or open-edged surfaces. So using these swivel options, you can come through and swivel different areas of your model to generate rounded surfaces or other structural designs.